everybody has a family. I mean, you have to come from somewhere, but it takes a village to raise you. Your community is bigger, blood's thicker than water. <laughs> Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. Hey y'all, it's Kyla Denango, and today we are talking all about family, specifically friends who become family, all right? We're talking about the book, City of Girls, written by Elizabeth Gilbert. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is historical literature, right? This is set in the 1930s in New York. Jumping straight to number seven, would I reread the book? Yes, this will definitely be one that I reread all the time because I absolutely loved Vivian. I can imagine her and Celia running around New York with their cute little outfits on, right? It's giving sex in the city in the 1940s. Love, 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 right? Y'all know this is a Liz Gilbert fan channel, okay? I reread her book, Big Magic, every single year. It's one of my favorite books to remind me that the universe is sending ideas to me and I can do it. And this book, oh, someone recommended it to me and I listened to the audiobook, loved it. Picked up the physical book and read it, loved it. <laughs> and I recently just reread it because you have to read this book multiple times to realize all of the underlying friendships. Now I say that because Vivian becomes really good friends with her Aunt Peg, the sister of your dad. Well, that's a blood relationship, but also you don't have to be close to your aunt. But Vivian forms her own relationship with Peg and it's great. It's to the point where Peg even comes back and asks Vivian to return to the city to continue working with her. There's the relationship that Vivian had with her grandmother when she learned how to sew, which is cute, but that was a little side story. Relationship between Vivian and Celia, which I already mentioned. Celia definitely became a sister to her. And even though they didn't talk for a number of years, later on when Vivian heard Celia and saw her on TV and she's like, oh my goodness, I know that voice. And then of course, her friendship, what's the guy's name? Her friendship with Frank is so beautiful. I absolutely loved how Vivian ended up having this relationship with Frank, completely platonic, but it was one of the loves of her life. And even she has a comment in the book where she says, you know, he never told me he loved me, but like, I know that one gesture was him saying that he loved me. That was as close as he ever could get to anyone, right? And then even from that close friendship comes the relationship that Vivian has with Frank's daughter, which is so beautiful, right? I hope you're enjoying the video. I talk about books every single week and let's jump right back into it. So Marjorie, Vivian becomes a bridal designer and she's running this business with Marjorie. If Marjorie is not a sister, I don't know what is. Yes, Vivian had blood siblings, but she and Marjorie become sisters, they become confidants, they become parent figures to Marjorie's little boy, but what she creates in New York, the bonds that she makes, the friends that she picks up, the chosen family that she has is so beautiful, right? And I wouldn't even say that that's one of the underlying themes to the book because when I read it, that's all that jumps out at me. Bonds, 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 intentional bonds, deliberate bonds, created bonds, right? Just because somebody, you guys share blood relatives does not mean that you'll be close. But Vivian created these really strong relationships and she had a chosen family that absolutely nurtured her and took care of her every step of the way. And I loved to see that, <laughs> okay? If you are interested in reading more books that are all about strong friendships, take a look at this review here, which is all about why you should not judge your friends. Let them be who they are so that you can have strong relationships just like the ones we saw in this book, all right? So take a look at this review here and I'll see you in a minute. 